Hello, welcome back to the channel. So this one is rather a quick update about a few things that I recently saw around on the internet and then tried myself. So it's less about a detailed research, but more about sharing something that I found interesting. And well, uh, coincidentally or interesting enough, all of them is about Apple Store. So many of you already know I'm an Apple kind of long time user and love uh, all kinds of Apple products. And one of my habits that I have for many years when going to different kinds of uh, different cities or locations is to visit the Apple stores when I got the chance. I'm not mm, typically to go to the store to buy products, although I do sometimes, but most time I just want to look at the different architecture designs, the how they put together the spaces around in the shop. It's kind of a way to see how different things being put together in a 3D space because I do a lot of virtual immersive design and then 3D space is a very important component that is related to that. So that's one of my things always doing when I got the chance to travel to different spots around the world. And they are kind of a, a attraction for me as a combination of both a community hub because I see people coming and go to different kind of things, looking for help, looking for products or just kill their time and also uh, center of technology. So it's like a one plus one thing for me as an attraction. And about that, the Apple Store that I've been already talking about, one of the recent news I saw is the Infinite Loop 01, which is the a company store at the old Apple headquarters is going to be permanently closed. So it used to serve as a landmark app store because I think it's one of the only place in its time that where you can buy things other than uh, Apple digital or electronic products. So they say serve like souvenirs, a pen, mugs, t-shirts, I believe that's before the uh, visitor center shop at the new Apple Park. So I was so close to have a chance to go to a visit, which I didn't. Well, that was back in 2012 Christmas. I uh, did a trip to San Francisco, a road trip, but it's on that renovation. So I went there, it's closed for renovation. I I went to the shop front, but didn't get a chance to have a look inside, so it was closed. And then by the next time I went back, it was six years later, 2018, I directly head to the Apple Park, the new spaceship-like place, so go to the visitor shop, not the visitor shop, the visitor center shop, which is a more latest and the newer one, but didn't have the time to visit the corporate or company shop, which people call it. So yeah, so I missed it. So it's permanently closed now by the time you see this video, I think. So mm, we, we, including myself, uh, missed the chance to see it forever, which a little bit regret. Now the, um, the visitor shop one, the, the another one at close by at the Apple Park, it's much bigger, wider. You definitely will find a lot of tourism videos on that. But I want to point out that it's also have several things unique. First, of course, it's it's a hierarchy to the older one at Infinity Loop. So you will see a lot of the Apple marked souvenirs like postcards, books, t-shirts, and many other things available at the store. I think it also has a cafe, a serve some coffee. I, I didn't have a try. And what's left of the shop, the, the one third of the other space is this huge AR demo showing you the structure of the spaceship ring-like Apple Park just across the street and how they build it, how it's the functionality of different parts of their large structure, and how they use different green technology to save energy. It's a very well-made AR demo based on an aluminum, a white mold-like model, I would say. So I put on some pictures and videos I took back then so you can have a look on that. So that's one. Another one news also related to Apple Store is there's, there's a new flagship store opening in Shanghai, in Jin'an district. And I believe it's opening, uh, by the time I'm shooting this video is tomorrow, which is March the 21st. And it's the first time a shop, a flagship Apple store that is going to be open in night time. So it's 7 p.m. in local time, which is Beijing time. It's one of its first. And I think by reading some of the news report, it says it's the largest flagship in uh, Asia and the world's second largest. So immediately I was thinking which one is world's first largest. I thought it's the New York City Fifth Avenue one with the cubicle glassy cube on top of the 
ground and it went on the ground and then did some Google. It turns out it's actually not that one. The largest Apple store in the world is the one that in Dubai. So it's taking like 50,000 square meters of uh, area space to be the largest shop in the world, which is astonishing fact. I just recently learned and I'm now sharing that to you. So the location chosen for this new shop, this new Apple store in Shanghai is quite interesting. It's just opposite street of the Jing'an Temple. It's like the, in the core of the core of Shanghai business district. And it used to be a sunken square where people can come in and have a rest and also go into the subway station down there. I've also been there before, but it has been closed for renovation th since 2017. So, and, and I left Shanghai before that, so I've never been to that place after since. So it has been closed for seven years. People have no idea what I've been working on in there. It turns out now it has been reviewed that Apple is building a new shop or new Apple store in that place and it's going to take away the entire sunken square that used to be uh, some park or a public resting place but now it's going to be the same square but it has an entryway go down to the shop and I, by looking at some photos and the videos that i saw online it's a two-store underground indoor structure and many people call it like a, a kind of like a church like with the lighting coming from the top and it goes directly from the into the subway station it means if you go to shanghai take the subway or the metro to the Jing'an subway station, you get out of the platform without going up to the ground or street level, you immediately will find an entry into the shop, which is fancy because like immediately get to the shop. It's very large and then with a, a kind of a new, different um, layout of everything inside. So I, I haven't been there yet because I'm not in Shanghai, but I would definitely go try to check it out when I got the chance to go back to China to see it. So that's another thing. And I also learned today that after the Jing An store opened, within that core business area in Shanghai, it will be have four Apple stores, all are flagship level within the area. So this is kind of crazy. Think about it. Four Apple stores within the similar same district. Shanghai, well, no surprise. Now mentioning that I'm not in Shanghai, I don't have the chance to check the uh, store opening in physical by myself, but I start to looking for alternatives. I was like thinking, because I'm doing VR, I'm thinking, what if I can do some virtual tours? Is there people doing virtual tours for Apple Store? And it turns out the search led to this blog by someone called Michael Steber, and he has a blog called The Tabletops and features a lot detailed insights to different Apple stores around the world, how they are open, what the details are, and of course about the Jinnan, I think it will be there. So I'm on the blog, I found something interesting. This guy also created a virtual store tour experience called Shop Different. It's a reference to the back then Apple uh, poster called Think Different. It's very um, vintage and an old Apple style. If you try it out, you will see it's a, it's a kind of walkthrough of uh, several iconic Apple stores uh, in the history, including I think the one, the first one, it, the, the one at the Tyson's Corner of 2001, and then the mini one at Stanford Shopping Center the, from the year of 2004. After that, the opening of the one I mentioned before at the New York City Fifth Avenue in 2006, and then finally, the one I just talked at the very beginning, the one which has been closed, the shop at the Apple headquarters, the previous headquarters in Infinite Loop, which opened or maybe renovated in 2015. So they were like a, a tiny time capsule, this virtual experience with a lot of details you can see, and they are kept of those each store in its shape and the like in its own time, so back in the history. So it's like snapshot of that shop in the time. Well, this is a kind of three crazy words to say that. So each of them, you can do a walk around and you can control and you can look around, look at the realistic modeling, lighting of the indoor environment. And interesting enough, all of them are in like nighttime. And there are some also uh, interactive features that you can, you can turn on something, you can open a drawer and you can click on some buttons. And there are also Eastern eggs hidden around different things about videos, ads, and either, some of them are very unique and you will definitely recognize the time they're coming from. So check those out yourself. I'm not going to spoil anymore. Go to the blog, tabletop, I just said, and you will find a download, install on your device, and you have a try. I think it's a desktop experience. It's not available on mobile, I believe. So it's like a going time going back in time experience. I enjoyed it quite a lot. I also um, 
visited virtually the Infinite Loop shop. Thank you to Michael who did experience the wonderful experience. I got to have a try and had a look at what looks like inside the shop. Not physically, but very close to the real experience. That's a great thing. And just now I checked my Apple Store tracking status and there are now 529 operational Apple stores around the world and I have been to 32 of them. That means I only covered like 5% of all the stores so far. There were so many of them I have never been to. So yeah, I haven't been to a lot of them. I would like to eager to hear how everyone think about or how everyone's experience, unique experience of you visiting different um, Apple stores. I would like to listen to your stories. And also I would like to know how you think of if any other kind of virtual tour or similar experience will help to enhance such experience. VR, AR, MR technology are coming in. So what's your widest dream about visiting Apple store or virtually visiting them or other type of experience that, are, that you would like to have to see just like me if you don't have the chance to visit some of them. Let me know what you think because I would like to have such discussion. And one thing I just came to my mind, I think I've seen people in Apple store proposing and in a different store, other people also getting married. So see how people bring crazy things to the store and then use it as their kind of memorable, unique place to keep their most precious memories. So yeah, people, including us, we have a lot of connection to the Apple stores as a community space or public space or some kind of a unique connection towards it, which I think it's something interesting to dig deeper. But anyway, that's all for this episode. I think I've shared a lot. I've talked a lot. Uh, feel free to leave comments. Let me know how you think, questions or anything. Share your experience. And until then, I will see you in next one. Thank you for watching.